so fantastic to hear some young person so full of energy, so passionate, and so positive. So good morning, everybody. I'm really excited and honored to be here at the Serpentine Gallery this morning for the 89 plus marathon to announce and to meet the winners of the first edition of the Rere Baudengo Serpentine Grant. I really would like to thank Julia Peyton Jones and Ansuri Hobrist, who I greatly admire for the important work they are doing at the Serpentine Gallery and for the art community. I have known Ansuri for many years. In 1999, with Ansuri and Francesco Bonami, we produced a book called Sony Dreams, a collection of dreams and nightmare of people of the art world, and not only, and this was presented at the Venice Biennial in 1999. Then, in 2001, thanks to Julia, we collaborate for the first time of Doug Icahn's solo exhibition here in the Serpentine. The exhibition was called New Ocean, and this was here in London, then went to Tokyo, Bregenz, and finally to Torino, to my foundation. And so this collaboration for, for me, for my foundation, is very, very important because here in London, 20, 21 years ago, I discovered contemporary art. Here, it was here in London when I started collecting. And uh, here uh, in London, I met many, many artists. I, it's not the case in my collection, the, far, the first part of my collection is focused on young British artists. But here in, in London, I remember when 21 years ago, I visited the studio of Anish Kapoor. Anish was very, very young. I remember the, his studio with beautiful small sculpture colored with beautiful blue, yellow, red, red pigment. I remember the energy that he transmitted with his work, and I really remember that moment as a very important moment for me. And this is, I think, the most passionate thing for me about contemporary art. Contemporary art gives us the opportunity, the possibility to meet the artists, to talk with them, and always learn something new about their work. But then my passion for contemporary art um, became grow and grow, and so I decided to be more involved and to establish a fondazione, the Fondazione Sandretto Rere Baudengo. Fondazione Sandretto Rere Baudengo is a no-profit institution, was established in 1995. Our artistic director is Francesco Bonami, who has worked with me since the beginning. And uh, we work what to do with the new generation of artists, critics, curators. We have in Italy two uh, exhibition venues. The first one is Guarene d'Alba, it's a small country near Torino. Here there is an 18th century palazzo, an old family villa that we opened in 1997 and after being adapted as an exhibition space. Is, uh, in this place, in, uh, in uh, Guarene, we invited 20 years ago a prize that brought to Guarene many young artists, not so known yet then, but now, now, like Urs Fischer, like Mar Manders, Paola Pivi, uh, Kelly Nipper, Damien Ortega, uh, so many that's so well known. Then the second space is in, is in Torino. Torino, it's a very simple, light, minimalist structure designed by an Italian London-based architect, Claudio Silvestrin. It's a 3,000 square meter building in which we organize exhibition, in which uh, uh, we organize events. And what we do, we have three main, main important aims for us. The first is to support, to promote young artists. For example, we are very happy to announce that in the next future we will have Adrian Villarocas showing a, an exhibition in Torino. And, um, but we also, what we try to do, what is very important for us is really the contact with the artist, so to produce, to commission work, to produce new work. And, we've, and we do that in many different ways. For example, we, we, we organize exhibition in which invited artists from, from all over the world to come and to, to show, produce before and produce their work. 
We also do that for important events like the Venice Biennial. For example, we invited artists like, uh, we produce work for artists like Steve McQueen, Gosh Kamakuga, uh, Nathaniel Mellor, Ragnar Kjartansson. We produced last year for, uh, for Documenta a work of an artist that you will see here, that is Vale uh, We try really to be, to be involved more and more with artists and really to work with them. Then we have a second aim also very important for us, that is to bring an ever-growing public closer to contemporary art. So means uh, uh, to work a lot with our educational department, means to, uh, we have about 15,000 students that come every year in the Fondazione. We organize, as they do here in the Serpentine, the Family Day, the Family Sundays. And then we have a project that we really like that is called the Big Draw. In, we start in 2009 and we enter in the, in the international network called the Campaign for Drawing that is a project started here in London 11 years ago. It is a way to promote drawing as a tool for personal growth and creativity. And every year in Torino we have a day in which everybody can come, can draw in, in all the part of the foundation. And I think that this is an important way also to, to, to have more different people coming to visit our foundation. At the same time, for us, it's very important to give the opportunity to everybody to understand contemporary art. For that, we have a specific subject that are our art mediators. The mediators are young professionals graduated in art history or art academies, and they are always in our exhibition area. They re create a really a relationship between the visitor and the artworks in order to explain and talk to our visitor about contemporary art. And then the last, uh, uh, our aim is to collaborate, to create partnership with other institutes. For example, last year at the Whitechapel Gallery, we could show a part of the college for one entire year. We showed in four different display works from the collection. We did the same some years ago with the Tate Liverpool. A co we co-produced an exhibition on a Glenn Brown artist. And we do that every time that is possible. We work with other institutions and we bring the collection in Poland, uh, in Germany, in Austria, and so on. We have one project more that I want to, to talk about you, that is the Young Curators Residency Program. This program was established in 2007. And every year we invite three young curators from the major and most important schools in the world to come to Italy to spend four months visiting Italy. That means to meet artists, visiting museum, um, directors of museum, uh, galleries. And then at the conclusion, they curated their own show on Italian art at the Fondazione with the support of our staff and our structure. The same we work with a lot of, of school, academic school in the world. I want just to underline the ENSBA, the Ecole Nationale Superior de Beaux-Arts de Lyon. For the, for the past year, we, we invited very, very, very young artists, uh, just students in the school, to show their work in, in Torino. The same we do for our young artists living in Torino. There is another exhibition, another project called Greater Torino. In this way, we could help every year. We can invite two artists or born or living in Torino. And what we try to do is to produce their work to give them the possibility to be known. Whether we are working with artists, curators, and students, but our focus is always, always on the new generation. And so we are really delighted to collaborate with the Serpentine Gallery once again, because this project allow us to reach our goal of working with and exhibiting young talent. So we are arriving to the, to the grant, to the celebration. I just want before to announce the, the winner, I would like just first of all to thank once again all these magazine staff and especially Solomon and David that I just met. Simon Castets of 89 Plus, Jochen Bowles, and all the staff of the Serpentine. Thank you. And, and then Kevin McGarry, and all the members of the international jury were, that were really, really essential partner for the, the realization of the Rare Baudengo Serpentine Grants. Many entrants, we received many entrants, and were really all of good quality, and so it was not easy to make our selection. 
In fact, this is why we have also chosen to attribute three special mentions, and I want just to nominate the three special mentions, Harron Gun Sali, that is from South Africa, Jasper Spicero from America, and Amaya Ullman from Argentina. But now we pass to announce the two winners. We start from, the, from the, the winner chosen by open public vote via Descript 89 plus. The name is Naiko, the icon, Naiko Kare Mayen and Terni Finster, that they are here, and I would like to. Thank you.